look, they wanted to find some type of real Wakanda. I swear they wanted to find this and they found uh, something similar, turned it around and fed it to our people like they always do, man. This Hollywood obsession with wokeism is getting out of hand. All right, folks, I said I was going to wait to do this video because I don't I, I really don't know the exact history of the Dahomey tribe. I had to literally, you know, try to do this research. And what I found was exactly what people were, you know, touting about this movie. Um, they basically lied on every aspect of this movie to the people to placate black people. And one thing that I am tired of in our, you know, um, culture is getting placated to um, by white people. You know what I mean? Um, it, it, it is coming down to the point of no return when it comes to placating us and making sure that we feel good about certain situations and you know inclusion and all of these things that don't even matter in our everyday life i've been watching these slave movies for the longest man and basically these movies are what liberal white directors and producers think about when they think of slavery that's their idea of what they thought slavery was like you know and if you guys even look at all of these movies man the antagonist in the movie is always some you know straight up racist white person some unbelievable caricature of a racist white person that would just make you just be like ah get under your skin and make us mad come out of the theater and, and we're just fucking mad and then they have the trope of the white savior you know it's always a white savior to come down and you know when you've been a slave for the last um 12 years illegally you have brad pitt coming down like oh you've been here you know for 12 years and uh, all right i'll write this letter for you i'll send it right up to my people and the next day they just come down and get you unhand him and it's been shown in all of these movies now we have the woman king to where these people in this tribe were savages i mean they were straight up go hard killers they owned more slaves than a people in america did man they owned more slaves than white people they owned more slaves than everybody in africa and they understood that they knew that this fucking thing had to keep going man and they understood the british was trying to stop these ports where they was trading slaves but the Dahomey tribe said, hell nah, we, these out, nah, we ain't about to, we ain't about to do that. This is how we make our money, man. We're not about to, you know, acquiesce to y'all and the lady that, you know, Viola Davis is playing didn't even exist. She didn't even exist. So they got to just put that in there. See, they can never find a story for the black woman king you know what i mean so they go out and they squander and they look through history they be like ah let me see and they find this dahomey tribe right and they read about it and they like well how the hell are we gonna spend this man how are we gonna spend this because these people were not good people man um these women were savages these women killed their own people enslaved their own people and made it to where you are not going to come and take what they own i mean that's basically what it was right how are we going to spend this basically they said hey um negroes are dumb 
we, that, that's what they think of us, people. I'm, I'm trying to tell you. Negroes are dumb. They're not going to even understand that this is just um, straight made up shit and we twisting it. That's they don't even understand it. They're not going to understand it because guess what? They think Wakanda is a real place. They love Wakanda. We created that world for them and they just go around talking about some Wakanda forever when that is a fictitious thing. We're going to make it all women. We're going to just womenize the fuck out this movie and um, just, you know, make it a matriarch. You know what I mean? That's what we're going to do. We're going to do it, man. Let's change the narrative of this whole situation and make money and they're going to be absolutely happy damn that's exactly what they did and they under we're so predictable they understand that we're going to take this information this false information this false narrative like i tell you guys please stay unplugged from false narratives and this is one of them Stay unplugged from this movie. I am not going to go watch this movie because I'm tired of men placated like that. I'm, I am not about to, you're not about to gaslight me like that, man. Come on, people. Y'all see what they do? And this is the left. This is the liberal Hollywood wokeism thing that they want you to sign up for, people. The woman king, man. I swear, it is so many other African stories you can tell, but you decide to go find the most vile group of Africans to tell your story on, who literally took their own people and I think ate them as well, sacrifices and all of that, man. This is what you give us. And they, 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 look. They wanted to find some type of real Wakanda. I swear they wanted to find this and they found uh, something similar, turned it around and fed it to our people like they always do, man. This Hollywood relationship or obsession with wokeism is getting out of hand y'all go down in the comment section and tell me what you think and like i always say baby if you are please stay unplugged please i beg you please stay unplugged from false narratives man y'all be safe out there like subscribe and share i'm out